Hello there. Welcome back to the nerdery. Hasbro surprised me and sent out the 2020 fan vote winner Silk without a shipping notification. This episode will compare the original Silk action figure released in 2016 with the 2020 fan vote winner. 2020 fan vote winner is here, man. What a nice surprise. I had no idea this was coming already. Marvel Legends on the top of the box. Legend series logo. Then you have Cindy Moon with two heads, two fists, two more hands, and awesome, a web effect. Then at the bottom says Marvel Fan Vote 2020. Side of the box is beautiful art of multiple different Marvel comic book figures. This is awesome, dude. I'd love like an art print of this. Continuing on to the back, which just has an onslaught of different Marvel figures. There's so many in here, I can't even name them all, man. Even random stuff like Cosmo and Morlin are here. That's so cool. Maybe they threw Morlin in because it's silk. Cindy Moon is Silk. She was created by Dan Slott and Umberto Ramos. Her first appearance was in The Amazing Spider-Man number one in April of 2014, although she wasn't fully revealed until The Amazing Spider-Man number four, ultimately getting her own comic book, Silk, in February of 2015. Check out Silk, what a great figure. This is 2015 Silk and my daughter's favorite Marvel Legends action figure. Here is the 2020 fan vote winner. Dude. It pops. I mean, first impression is, wow. I, the old Silk was such a cool figure. And again, my daughter loves this figure. But man, what an upgrade to the new Cindy Moon. Just the white with the black and the red. Holy cow, does that stand out. Let's start off by comparing the face sculpts that are not masked up. So very similar face sculpts. I'm trying to see if there's some subtle differences. And I think the eyebrows might be slightly different. 2015 Cindy Moon looks like her eyebrow is a little more pitched than the 2021. Uh, 2020 Cindy Moon looks like she's got a little more uh, eye makeup coming off the side. Maybe that like, uh, I don't know what you would call it, but it looks like a little bit of the Egyptian look. The lips on 2020 Cindy Moon are a little redder and more pronounced. They look to have pretty much the same facial expression. I think there's a slight difference in the color of the iris of the eye as well as the shape of the eye and makeup. Again, very subtle differences. Let's take a look at the hair sculpt. All right, both hair sculpts are black with a blue wash running through them. The strand coming down over her face looks to be placed in a slightly different manner on the 2020, where it hangs down onto her left clavicle, whereas on the 2015 figure, it's flowing behind her shoulder. Back of the figure looks to have the same hair sculpt with the blue wash running through it. Here's a major difference between the figures. 2020 Silk does not have any spider markings on her body at all in the back. Whereas 2015 Silk has the gray, red, and then the gray spider detail running down. And 2020 Silk suit looks to be a little bit more of a matte black, whereas the 2015 is a little bit more glossy. Another detail you can see are the spider legs coming through the back of the thighs. Now, this is cool and would definitely set 2015 Silk ahead of 2020 Silk, except you're really never going to see this because her back's going to be turned into the display, although I do appreciate it and I think that's really cool. Oh, another uh, difference here too is you can see the spider legs coming around uh, the back of her shoulders. Let's contrast these two face sculpts with the mask on. So again, they look almost identical. 2015 Cindy Moon's eyebrow is a little pitched. There's a spot here that is just wear and tear from my daughter loving this figure and playing with it for the last five years. Eyes are similar, but 2020 Silk looks to have a slightly different shape and more eyeshadow. Face mask looks the same, comes up around the nose, has some wrinkles to it that you'd expect. Again, difference might be just in the pupil of the eye, it looks to be a slightly different color. So hair sculpt looks exactly the same, comes up high off the shoulder and flows through the back with a blue wash. I... So when it comes to the face sculpt, they're both excellent. I can't say one has an advantage over the other between 2015 and 2020. The only thing I'm thinking of is which way do we want to pose uh, 2020 silk in the nerdery? Do we want to have her masked up or have her face showing? So the suit has the exact same design on it, although I will say this S symbol looks slightly thinner in the middle and the webs look a little bit more condensed. They don't go out as broadly on her chest. It could be an optical illusion. My eyes aren't the best, but I definitely think they made some changes. As you see here on her clavicle, you could see some of the spider legs coming off right there, whereas they don't come in on the 2015 model until the shoulder. So I think that they did condense the logo on her chest, thinned out the webs a little, and then have the spidey legs coming out here and then connecting to her shoulder. I think that's actually a pretty neat touch for the figure. I like the way that looks better, although again, th this was a really nice figure. I will say, if you're just looking at them side by side, 
this figure pops way more than this one. I think it's just because the gray with the black and the red just doesn't catch your eye as much with the black, white, and red. What do you guys think? So another difference I noticed is that if you look at the midriff area, you can see the red webbing comes down further towards her abdomen than the red webbing on the old one. It just stops right under the chest, whereas this almost goes down to the belly button, and then it's black and white, whereas there it's gray and white. A lot more space here coming down in the midriff area where the white portion extends further than the gray. So you could see here where this second spider line here cuts off in a smaller triangle, whereas that goes further down. I wanna say I like this better just because the white pops with the black and the little bit of red splash in there matching her face mask. Whereas on here, maybe continuing that red and gray down a little further would have distinguished it a little the bit things better. a lot of us Spider-Man figure fans have been asking for are more webbing effects. And we finally got one. So Silk can spindle a really cool web. She can make her own clothing and outfits. Um, and she can do a variety of things with it that other spider figures can't. And I really like the representation of this web effect on her. You could see her hands. And then if you flip it this way, you could see it kind of bubbling up and emitting from her hands. Maybe uh, she plays lacrosse. If that's what this is i don't know man that's really cool so she does come with three hand options which thank you thank you hasbro again man for spidey figures we don't just want two fists or two thwips we like having multiple options so this is an open hand option which really looks sweet with her red finger gloves 360 degree rotation on this and then it inflects side to side cindy also comes with a fist and i love that you can see the red fingertips of her gloves 360 degree range of motion she also comes with two grip hands and again has the red fingertip gloves, 360 degree rotation with inflection side to side. Comparison fun with 2020 silk versus 2015 silk and Miss Marvel. So I appreciate how the new silk is just a smidge taller than the 2015 silk and then Miss Marvel comes in shorter than them. Here's silk with Felicia Hardy and Silver Sable. Oh dude. Highly recommend you guys read this comics. They definitely run into each other and they look awesome together. And by the way, I love that Black Cat is smiling like that instead of these uh, flaccid faces that you have on uh, Silk and Silver Sable, man. She looks great with both of them and that's a fight scene I wanna watch. How about you guys? Here's Retro Spidey, Agent Anti-Venom, and Venom. <laughs> oh man, he's huge. Dude, how awesome do all the spider-powered heroes look together? Silk looks so cool with old school Spidey. Which Silk reigns supreme? They're both fantastic figures. The 2015 Silk has a very, very special place in my heart. I gave it to my daughter when she was seven and it has been her absolute favorite Marvel Legends figure for five years now. There's nothing that can ever beat that or take that away. However, man, the new Cindy Moon just takes it up enough of a level where I have to give it to her. The black with the white and red just pops and it looks incredible amongst other figures man she is so distinguished and neat there was nothing wrong with the gray and black and red it's just the white takes it to another level i appreciate how they slimmed down the logo in the middle and then added the spider arms coming out over her clavicle and shoulders and thighs man i think again that just takes it up a notch but the ultimate nullifier here are the web effects. We finally got a Spidey figure with web effects. Hasbro, please keep this up. Would love just one web effect with each Spider-Verse figure. What do you guys think? Which one do you think is the better Silk figure? There's no wrong answers here. They're both awesome and I'm grateful to have them. Now wish me luck as I pack this back up into the box and then give it to my daughter next week for her 12th birthday. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to join the noble quest of building this action figure collection. See you real soon.